It's funny, every every day there, there's a colleague I, I work with here and our offices are close to each other. And as he walks out the door, he stops in my doorway and he says, okay, Kevin, what are you gonna do today that isn't just gonna be merely modern education? And uh, at our school, I have an opportunity to put students in contact with the sources of the uh, Western Christian tradition, to, to slow down, to look, to listen, um, uh, to ponder over ideas, to, uh, to get glimpses of a, of a larger life and a larger calling than they might have the opportunity anywhere else to, to encounter. I think my faith informs everything I do. I, it, it informs the, uh, my, my call to become a teacher, really. I, I think I understood the, uh, the office of a Christian teacher as, as being something that God has called and um, He equips people to do and seeing that uh, education serves uh, the church, serves the kingdom in all kinds of ways. So, yeah, everything I, I do really, I, I think is a privilege to be, to be caught up in, into my, my faith and how I understand that working um, and following Christ in my life. I think joy, without exception, is the most important attribute of a teacher. If a teacher's not joyful, they're not gonna be able to inspire students, they're not gonna be able to help them learn. Uh, you spend time with students and they don't grow gradually over time. You put a lot of labor in and then you see growth in different moments. I think I find meaning in work by not trying to identify uh, the value of what I do with immediate outcomes, but uh, seeing the value of what I do in the sense that it's, it, it's a calling and um, it's an investment and you don't know what the returns are going to look like. You don't work for the returns, you work for, um, for the call. God calls us to be faithful in whatever area of the world He has us in. The work of the, uh, the washerwoman and the work of Beethoven will become acceptable to God in precisely the same terms. Is it offered humbly? Is it offered um, um, in love and charity for your neighbor? Uh, or is it offered in order to uh, build yourself up or to have your own reputation? And so in one sense, it doesn't really matter what you're called to do or what your activity is. Is it being offered in humility and love and service to your neighbor? then it's not mundane. It's, it's like one small victory in a cosmic battle, right, of bringing God's kingdom to bear. I tried to imagine what it would look like if, um, if the church didn't just have people who had really good Christian answers to secular questions, but if we saw people who, in whatever line of work or whatever field they find themselves in, are manifesting the beauty and wisdom of God. And so if you, if you imagine like what I'm doing with my work is that people are going to see God's justice, God's wisdom, God's beauty in my work, whatever it is. If you could capture that vision for work, I think that would be, that would be transformative.